you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is Saturday afternoon, um, April 17th, 2021. It's about 12, 26, 27 uh, in the afternoon, and I am at La Ha 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 Manga Park. Oh, goodness. Uh, ha Ha Manga Park here in. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies and <clears throat> singular hasn't kicked, kicked in yet. It's uh, now that the weather is so much nicer. It is. I love this. I could just sit here all day and just listen. It's one of the finer things that I used to just love camping as a kid, and then uh, especially. Ooh, hey, you're kind of brazen. Are you going to stand up next to me? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> little area where we would go park at uh, Kachumba Lake. And uh, I remember I had my Run Popeel Pocket Fisherman. And uh, I would throw it out there and try to catch fish. Never caught anything, but <clears throat> had nibbles and everything. I... I but it was just the whole idea of just being there and looking off at the distance and seeing the dam way over there, the spillway. So, yeah, I'm very much, I love nature. I'm on my way to work. Got here a little early so I can do this little chat with you folks. I could, I could definitely be here just all day. A cup of coffee. Ice cooler of ice. Oh, I am extremely tired. This person is just uh, kind of maintaining hours. She stops making so much ruckus around 12 30, 1 o'clock when whoever is here. They're not sleeping in the house so much, I don't think, or occasionally in her room. Maybe a son or an offspring relation or something. I don't really know. I am completely and utterly fucking tired. Oh, all this shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, during this last year, continuing, have never in my life, and I've lived in some questionable areas and I've been through some questionable areas, never in my life have I ever heard that proverbial N-word uttered so much in one given day or one evening, or a 24 hour period, or a two hour period. My life, in my entire life, my God. <clears throat> that word honestly never bothered me. I mean, it, 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 it bothered me in that sense. But now I just, I, I know it has several meanings amongst the community, but however it's used, I just, I. Especially since I, again, also, I've never also been called that in my entire life more than I have this since she has been at this address. Never. Not even out on the streets. Not even by some passerby or, and you know, you, 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 those of you that have been homeless, you know, you, you called a lot of names, <laughs> whether it be from someone that's not ha uh, homeless or someone that is, you know. <sighs> Mexican and wetback and <sighs> favorite short. There's a couple of nice she got you short. You're short. You're short. Uh, uh, 
many a times a quick solution is to go just go across the street and go get a can of beer you know and that's that's but at the pinnacle moment where I'm almost stupid enough to want to actually get up and put my shoes on I I'll say I'll take it like this I get an affirmation from above when her mouth goes off each and every time her mouth goes off and just these who she is that's my, my affirmation of not to drink because I will be that I will be that stupid I will be that belligerent I will know what the F I'm saying I don't like that that's And regardless of, of every day now that goes by is a little bit of sense of relief and a little bit more misery coming in trying to squeeze that that sense of relief out that being that that I will no longer be here and be under the torture of her and Union Station for neglect. <sighs> Unreal. I will be definitely more selective with uh, nonprofits <clears throat> in the future. I mean, I have mine that I, I, I still donate and stuff like that. And, and I, I definitely, you know what? And actually, here's another thing. Here's another blessing because now I get to actually go and check out and meet, because that's what I want to also do, is Meredith from uh, La Caridad, I believe. It's a uh, homeless group or homeless uh, organization out there. and It's just from what little, it was just what little I, I, I know. It's just, it's fantastic. And that's out of Las Vegas. Yes, Meredith. Is there. So I get a chance to do that. It's going to take a while. Gonna be more interested in, in getting out there. Yes, it's Vegas. I'm going out to Vegas. I'm going out to Vegas. Um, because the economy is a lot better out there. Rent is significantly much, much better out there, my friends. Oh my God. Just uh, do apartments and all that other stuff search and, and it's definitely I mean that was actually my first thought and then it was more inclined to go to Florida but as things were changing and we were actually hoping to be able to do this sometime next year you know and because uh, we were thinking that the, the whole closure thing was going to last for another year so we were thinking of 2022 to be able to get together and uh, do this but the opportunity arise with the opening and everything and the economy is kind of looming it's very very much teetering i cannot not i cannot afford to raise a family a daughter let alone myself out here so it is las vegas and so actually put in our uh rental application and within less than an hour, boy, that's quick. That was quick. That was quick. Denied. Credit. Credit. Uh, she was a little bummed. And I says, don't worry about it. Because, you know, everything right now is going to be... Our, our credit is not all that great, so especially mine. And with my child support, that's going to be like the first thing. It's just a matter of keep trying, but the only thing is we can't keep affording try. Just the application, just a, a rental application for one apartment community, one complex was a hundred dollars, fifty for her and fifty for me. So and you can't keep doing that. I wish there was some sort of central thing that you just could pay into, maybe a hundred dollars, and then just have it out there but I think that would be more of a selective weeding out they would probably want more of someone that's 
of a higher echelon economically i don't know but yeah so and i don't know if and see everything is you know this is this is already locked in do or die we're already locked in on this so leaving out from the east to come out to the west so i'll be leaving here i'll be getting on a train uh to go out back east a couple days later we'll be driving cross country back out to las vegas and uh it won't be that far and <clears throat> I also did not really want to go too far. Could have gone to Arizona, but um, but uh, it's just so much closer. It's only a couple hours drive to and from, so still not that far from the beach, the lake. Got some new scenery in Vegas. Just a matter of time refamiliarizing, and hey, more. Uh, more adventures for the channel, right? <sighs> All things to those who wait. Been waiting a long time. Endured quite a bit. Busted face. Busted home life or house life. It was a home. It was a home, honestly, up until she arrived. Uh, but anyway, my friends, there it is. Be, be going to Vegas. Uh, hopefully. So if anyone knows of any, any place out there uh, that could put in a word or has any real estate connections, in Las Vegas for uh, a family of three, 12 year old daughter, conservative, not too conservative, but conservative, not rowdy, three bedroom, too bad, please. Now actually, yeah, the, 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 the equivalent of the the two bedroom and the three bedroom, even the two, the two bedroom, was that of a price of maybe a studio out here in Pasadena. Twelve to fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars. So, yeah, it's amazing. And plus, you know, you and do a little research uh, of dollar worth per per region per per state. And just just over the border in Nevada, it's, it's significantly the dollar here in California. Is so just you're paying more for your dollar than you are just over on the other side, and no state tax. Gambling. I like nickel slots, and well, they don't have it probably, but. Uh, uh, one dollar uh, uh, crap table, but that's like about as often as I play the the lottery out here. I'm not a gambler. I'm more into video games and <clears throat> the video. And now, actually, yeah, this is gonna be so cool. I get to do a lot of. Uh, this should be cool. New terrain to cover on a scooter, so. Oh, God, I'm so tired. I hope I'm making sense. I really do. I am. I'm just exhausted. Holy cow. Uh. All right, my friends. So that's it for me. So you folks take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. But always take care of yourselves first. Love one another. Trust one another. Be kind to each other. Help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on. And, uh, <clears throat> Vegas bound, baby.
comments good or bad please post if not email and uh if you can help out with the gofundme because uh <clears throat> the journey back is is the one i do the most as far as extra costs uh just just emergencies you know breakdowns more than anything if anything on the road moving any of you especially me i have learned the greatest surprise in expenses breaking down in the vehicle. And then just whatever. If we don't find a place in time, then uh, maybe we'll uh, have to stay at a, at a weekly or something until then. So hopefully the market is still a little gentle and not so hard on uh, trying to turn a profit. But, so, especially when it comes to uh, new people moving into, oh yeah, yeah, well you know we're we're moving over here. See, there's a U-Haul, yeah. Discount, you know, new citizens of this wonderful city. So, all that. All right, my friends, I love you all. I will post this when I can. Take care. Have a good day. And uh, <sighs> the adventures continue.